the clouds in comic show. Welcome back to Cards and Comics. Today I have a uh, mystery box uh, from Anti Hero Gallery. This is their three hundred dollar uh, mystery graded comic box, and uh, I ordered this like two months ago. And I like some of the variants they have, and I've had some good experiences and some good bad experiences with these guys. But I thought, you know, this would be kind of fun to open, and there's some prizes you can get. Um, the only one that really interested me was the ASM 300 uh, signed by McFarlane. So hopefully we hit that. I'm going to open this up and we'll get right into it. All right. Whew. That's a lot of stuff. All right. So there's this and there's that. So I'm going to pull the components out from inside. I want to see what everyone, you know, to see what it looks like on the inside before I start pulling it apart. So I have a lot of room to work on here. And, uh, the date was four nine. I don't know if it'll. It's four nine. So April 9th. So if we take into account shipping, so it's it's end of May. So you know, like a like six weeks uh, when I ordered it to when I got it. All right, we'll see what we got here. Package here. We'll go through them first. And we'll put the raw graded books up there. All right, so let's see what we got here. I'm sure hope I don't have a lot of off-title stuff, but you never know. Every time I open one of these, I get like uh, Vampirella and D. Pooh books, which I don't really dig, but we'll see. All right, first book up. Harley Quinn. I like Harley Quinn a lot. Uh, very cool. It's not, it doesn't look like it's, uh, let's say like a, you know, virgin variant or anything, you know, uh, overly cool, but I like the cover. It's pretty cool. We'll go with that. So I like that one. So just from a, how I like the comic, I like that. Uh, Captain Britain. Um, looking to see if, um, Art here looks pretty cool. Variant edition. I like that. Betsy Brannock. Um, there you go. And again, as I go through these, I'll, I'll flash up sort of like the artist and sort of like average price sell on eBay. So that one's pretty good too. So at least they're Marvel books um, or DC books of main titles. So it's good. Wolverine. I like that one. Um, we're going to see if I can see who did the art on that one. Can't tell for sure. There you go. Uh, Marvel uh, Wolverine 31. It's cool. Cool Destiny of X covers. I like that one. So three for three on just like cool looking books. There we go. There's a Spider-Man book. Tyler Kirkham. I like that one. So I haven't seen anything like really like super rare, like a, you know, foil or, um, you know, a um, version variant. So, these look to be sort of, I hate to say it, but, you know, like more common. Maybe if I pit my good luck charms in the in the photo, maybe we'll get something a little better. Um, these might be okay. I don't know. We'll look them up. But I like the character, so that's good. Because when I go to comic book shows and sell stuff, I do get a lot of people looking for this. All right. Now, I've seen this book before, this DNA, um, uh, David Nakayama, Spider-Man book. Um, 22. I believe there's like a virgin, a white virgin. So there's a lot of version of this book. So I just, you know, I don't actually have this book, which I do order a lot of uh, Spider-Man variants um, for my personal collection and for, again, uh, comic book shows. So I like that one a lot. I'm sure this one is um, doing well in the you know, secondary market compared to probably what 
cover prices. So as you know, all these DNA variants usually do okay. Uh, depending on, and you now this is something I don't like, uh, doubles. <clears throat> I don't know. Um, this is just, you know, you're building something from scratch. Like this is all hand done. I don't know why you can't, um, keep out doubles from something you build by hand. Cause this is the second copy of this book. Again, I don't know, maybe it's a big book, but definitely not something I would want two of. Uh, Wolverine 32, so we got 31, now we got 32. Sabretooth cover, so again, I think X-23 was on the other one. Um, now Wolverine. <clears throat> now to a Star Wars Yoda. So, uh, okay, well, that's nice. You know, I um, don't know, super rare, don't know much about it, but it looks cool. I mean, it's, again, it's Star Wars, so it's not terrible. Again, you know, Red Sonja and all those kind of like, Dynamite books sometimes um, are tough because a lot of them don't even bring back cover. Here is a uh, Kirkham, I believe. Um, yep. Yeah. Uh, Tile Kirkham. And this is a Black Cat Miles. And it is a Virgin variant. So this one is really cool. Um, you know, it'll, it'll be a higher ratio no matter what. So just because it's a Virgin variant. So I really dig that. And I'm very excited about that. And sometimes I have COEs in the back. And here is that same, um, again, I mentioned before the, the Virgin variant. So this is that Wolverine, I believe 20, um, sorry, 31, um, that we got before. This is the Virgin variant of that. So I would much rather on that, uh, uh, Captain Britain, if it would have been, you know, two different versions, like a, a an A and a B version, I would have been a lot happier because, okay, well. I got two copies of the same book, but they're two different, uh, they're two different, you know, kinds of copies here. So this is obviously regular trade and then you get the virgin. So there you go. Um, we'll see if those are worth, but nothing terrible. Like, you know, again, 300 bucks, hopefully, you know, nothing is going to be like, you know, something that won't bring back cover, but you never know. I mean, you know, you can't get them all. They all can't be bangers, right? You know, they can't make money if everyone makes money on um, a mystery. That's why you usually you lose. But, you know, it's about the, the fun you had along the way. All right. Here we go. Book number one in our, in our um, graded comic book. So, this is an interesting one. I'll take it out of the cover. You know, I should know this book, but I don't. And it's super shiny, so it's going to look really weird in the light um, that I have. So I'll try to do what I can. And there's a foil. So this says it's the uh, Catwoman number 47 from last December. And it is a Nathan Zerdy cover, which I like Nathan Zerdy. Nothing wrong with that. It says Syndicate Foil Edition. So it's got almost like a purple foil cover. It's a 9.8. White pages, which it should be. And on the back, I will say stuff about it. It says, exclusive Nathan Zerdy variant cover presented by the 616 Comics, Antihero Gallery, and Rabbit Comics. It doesn't say what it's limited to. So sometimes they do say like, okay, it's limited out of 3,000 or 2,000. So I don't know if there is an actual print run on this book that I, I don't know about. But in all, overall, uh, I don't hate it. I don't, I'm not like super, I'm not like, okay, this is like, if this is Poison Ivy. I would be like, wow, it's like, you know, love Poison Ivy. Uh, Bat, sorry, Catwoman is okay. You know, I'm fine with Catwoman. Um, but, um, you know, just okay. I'm, <clears throat> look it up, see what it's bringing. I don't know her off the top of my head. Um, you know, because this is actually a book I've never seen before. And I look at variants all the time. So again, but there's so many variants, you cannot keep up with them. So this is one that, you know, I may have seen before, but it didn't really stick with me. Um, I, I, like the, I like the purple foil. So therefore, I, you know, I, I, you know, I like Batman books. So to me, it's okay. I'm not upset by that for sure. All right. Number two. So here we go. Number two. All right, pull out the bag here. 
We'll see if this is anything special. It's a, it's a really nice copy, whatever it is. I really like the art on it already. So even if this is not a big book, I really like the art. So I'm, I'm happy with the art on this one. Uh, this is X-23. It's a 9.8. X-23 Deadly Regenesis. Uh, the Rico Virgin Edition. So uh, it's a really nice cover. So if you're an X-23 collector, I'm sure you like this art. And, you know, this could be used for future you know, cards and other media because it's a really nice X-23 cover. 9.8. So again, no problems with this book in terms of just what it looks like. I put it up at a card show or sorry, comic book show and it's going to do fine. You're going to have X-23 collectors out there wanting this book at whatever price it's going to be at. Um, but we'll see what it's worth. Uh, we'll look it up and uh, we'll see where we're at at the end of the at the end of the video. But yeah, this is uh, pretty nice. I, I like it. I like Rico's. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, his the artwork. I don't know if that's a multiple people or not. But generally, when I see a Rico cover, I know it's going to be really nice. Um, so there you go. X-23 Rico variant. And that's the Virgin. So it's a little bit more of a nice. So we got a foil and a virgin. So at least you're getting some of the higher ratio books there. And then the last book um, doesn't look like I got got one of the uh, big treats. And this is always a problem with these kind of like um, um, you know blind boxes or however you want to think about it. Is this is that obviously. You know, they're controlling who gets what the prizes are. Pretty sure it's not that random. So Strange Academy number, finals number two, Rico variant. This is obviously magic on the cover. Um, or magic, I don't know you want to say it. Uh, but uh, again, another virgin Rico variant. And it's really nice, 9.8. Um, so again, I don't know. Uh, these are variant covers. I, I don't really uh, have an idea of what they're really worth. I'll look them all up and we'll give a little tally at the end. So was it worth it or not? You know, we'll look it up. I think all the books I got were at least reasonable books. Like, you know, they're not, you know, off um, characters, off uh, publishers, just stuff that isn't really worth anything. I think um, really, really, you know, I liked a lot of the art. So in the end, it was fun to open, you know, take a chance, try to get an ASM 300 signed. It's one of the prizes. Didn't do that, but got a few cool books and definitely books that I know I can sell at shows because these kind of variants do pretty well at shows. Uh, and so that's it. I'll see you next time on Cards and Comics. Let me know what you like in the, in the comments, and I'll see you next time on Cards and Comics. Bye.